The story is told of the son Zerebbe, that he was once at the train station with his many Hasidim, when suddenly, while in the middle of giving some deep Torah, he stopped and he turned to one of the Hasidim and he said, Yankele, I can hear that someone's crying. Please go to the ticket counter and find out who's crying and why they're crying. So Yankele ran over there and lo and behold, there indeed was a young woman there who was crying. Someone had stolen her wallet and now she couldn't afford the ticket to get home. So Yankele comes back and he tells the Rebbe, you were right, there was someone crying. She lost her wallet, someone stole her wallet. So the Rebbe says, no, what are you doing here? Buy her a ticket. Make sure that she gets home okay. So Yankele quickly goes and he buys her a ticket and she is so thankful. Tears are streaming down her face. She says, please give me your address. I come from a very good family. Once I know your address, we'll be sure to reimburse you. He said, please, please, I'm just happy to do the mitzvah. No need, no need for an address, no need for an address. And he runs off. Many, many years go by. The sons of Rebbe had already departed from this world. And the same chassid, Yankele, all of a sudden found himself in a very terrible situation. You see, back in those days, Jews did not have it very good. They would often be accused of things and be taken to court even though they didn't do anything and they weren't even allowed to serve as witnesses in the court so oftentimes non-Jews would make their lives incredibly difficult bring them to court and knowing that the Jews that saw the event and witnessed the event couldn't even be witnesses in the court unfortunately things would go very bad so now Yankala knew he was in a whole lot of trouble and he didn't know what to do suddenly it dawned on him you know what maybe I'll look up the address of the judge and maybe if I go and I tell him the situation and explain to him the story, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll have luck. He comes and he knocks on the door to the judge's home and all of a sudden this woman opens up and she says, finally, I've been waiting years. You don't know how much effort I've tried to do to go ahead and find your address and I couldn't do it. And he said, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know who you are. All of a sudden he realized this was the girl that the Sanz Rebbe had encouraged to buy a ticket for and many many years later she now was married to the judge and through this he was able to find salvation. The Tzadikim have eyes that see beyond what we can ever understand. May we merit to truly connect to them.